Hi everyone, this is Tammy, owner of Worthy, Worth It, and Priceless, and today's podcast is titled, Do Your Research. There was someone that I knew at one point in time, and he was an older guy, basically old enough to be my father. He was in the same age range as my parents, and I saw him, you know, I'm somewhat friendly, you know, friendly all the time usually. So it's like, you know, I'm just speaking to people like, hey, hey, you know what I mean? And then one day he asked me if I was married. The same day later on, he asked me if I was engaged. I'm like, no, you know, not married, not engaged, whatever. And you kind of get a little side eye like, oh, my God, I hope he's not trying to holler. Like, you know what I mean? Because for me, I don't date guys that's that much older than me. If you either went to school with my parents or could have went to school with my parents, I'm not dating you. I only really dated I only really date someone that's usually like a year above me or two years at the most, but I've never really I never dated anyone that was like basically I had never even dated someone that was even two years older than me. So either way. Um so this guy was way out of the question. So anyway so another time, so he was like, if you're not single, I'm sorry, if you're not married or engaged, then are you single? I'm like, yeah, obviously. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, well, I'm single too. It's like, okay, well, congratulations. I don't know. Okay. You know, so so with that, and I'm like, okay. So as time went on, um, someone else that I, I knew, knew about the story about him trying to holler or whatever, and I'm like, and it was like every time I saw him, he would, you know, make, oh, are you all right? Are you okay? And Or even try to touch me and stuff. It was like, oh, my God, like just leave me alone. But, you know, it's one of those things. So anyway, uh, someone else that I knew, they knew about the story as well. So they saw him. And he was getting something. And she was like, you know, what are you doing here or whatever? And he was like, oh, I'm getting something for my wife. Okay, so the story got back to me that he was basically married. So weeks went on. I never really got another chance to say anything to him. I was like, you know, that was my chance or my way out. So I was like, okay, cool. So he was like, well, you know, I'm interested in you because I did see him a while after. He was like, oh, oh, you know, I'm interested in you. And I was like, you know, you're married, right? And he was like, how do you know? I was like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm like, and he was like, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I'm married, but, uh, you know, we having problems. Okay. Like, you know, but you're married. And so with that, that's a red flag within itself. And, and other than the whole age difference. But it's the whole point. It's people, if... If that person would have never told me that he was married, he would have never told me that he was married. And with that being said, I'm just saying that just to give, just for you guys, because you never know. These people nowadays, because I didn't say these people, but people nowadays won't tell you the truth, especially if you are just somebody that they want to be with. They won't risk home to be with you. And you will end up walking into something that you had no idea of. Thank God it wasn't somebody that I was interested in, and thank God it wasn't somebody that was you know, either closer to my age or anything like that because it could have been a totally different situation. And, excuse me, with that being said, people don't really put their safety or your safety in into account. You're actually married. And you're still trying to holler at somebody else. I'm like, oh, well, you know, we're going through problems and we're just basically roommates. I don't know how many times I've heard that before. And it's like, oh, well, you know, I just sleep on the couch and she has her own life and I have my own life. But still, you shouldn't be trying to holler at somebody else within that situation. And you got to be careful, too, because if they would do that to their wife or girlfriend, they would do that to you. So 
With that, you have to love yourself enough to not be in a situation like that. You deserve to be loved and loved wholly by yourself. Like, I remember me and my grandmother had this saying, and it's like, if I can't be number one, then I can't be anyone. It is the whole point. And it's not being the the main girl, but actually being the only girl. That or the only person in in your significant other's life. We live in a dangerous times now, and you cannot sit up there and date someone and actually be the side girl or this, that, and third, because nowadays they, people are getting killed over relationships, and it will be something that you had no idea of knowing. You didn't know that that person was married or in a relationship or anything, and people will live separate lives or double lives and you had no idea and all of a sudden you're on the phone arguing with a boyfriend or a girlfriend and or somebody stalking you at your job and you don't know what's going on because you didn't do your research or you know it may not even be anything with you sometimes people just lie put it that way you know what I mean I don't want to just put you as a blame or anything like that because people just lie but if you can, especially with social media now, do your research. You know what I mean? If you look on certain people's pages and you know how to do it, you look on certain people's pages and all of a sudden some girl or some boy is overly tagging this person in all the pictures, you might have to do a little bit of research. If y'all have mutual friends, does this person go with this person? You have to do it only because just to protect yourself. Protect your heart, protect your 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 life nowadays, especially. But either way, I didn't want to go into a whole rant about it. But um, that was an experience that happened to me. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. Just be careful out there. I know that a lot of us or people, you know, holiday times is coming up now. People are single and this, that, and the third. And people, other people can sense you either being single or they'll think that you're desperate or this, that, and the third. And don't be so much in a rush for love that you will just take anything or take anyone. And even pay attention to the red flags. Don't just gloss past them, but really pay attention to the red flags. Like somebody saying, oh, yo, we're together, but we're really not together. And you know what I mean? Or... I'm just sleeping on the couch and she sleeps in the room and I never see her and, 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 or he never sees me and this, yeah, don't fall for that. If they don't have their own place or this, that, and the third, or you can't really go to their house, like don't even get involved. But either way, I don't want to keep going into a, a, you know, a rant about it, but just know no matter what you're going through, that you are worthy, worth it and prices and take your time with love and, Pray to God if if that if love is your mission and, and love is what you want and you want someone to love you, get married and whatever. Have God give you patience and find the right person that so that you don't have to go through those types of situations. So until next time, have a word. Just know that you're worthy, worth it, and priceless. Bye.